the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR in 5 starts right now. The contender round continues this weekend with the only Saturday night race of the chase from the hub of NASCAR, Charlotte, North Carolina. This weekend's schedule and a look at the chase grid coming up. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5, I'm your host Bryce Turner. First up, results from the Cup Race at Kansas. Joey Logano won the Hollywood Casino 400, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Martin Trex Jr., and Carl Edwards rounded out the top 5. For more post-race coverage, visit Carnets.ca and click on Closed Wheel Racing. Here's a look at the updated chase grid. With his Kansas win, Joey Logano tops the grid and has secured a spot in the next round. Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards, and Ryan Newman aren't far behind. Danny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, and Jeff Gordon round out the top eight. After experiencing troubles last weekend, Casey Kane, Brad Kozlowski, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Jimmy Johnson are on the bubble. These four still have two races to try and work their way up into the top eight. Tomorrow night, it's the Bank of America 500 from Charlotte Motor Speedway. The race will begin at about 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcast on ABC, TSN2, the Performance Racing Network, and SiriusXM. Qualifying was run last night and Kyle Busch is on pole for tomorrow's race. Stay tuned, news is next on NASCAR 5. Here's a look at which races we'll be previewing for you next week here on NASCAR 5. It's time now for a news update. In the news, Sam Hornis Jr. will return to the Cup Series where he will drive full-time for Richard Petty Motorsports next season. This comes after Marcos Ambrose announced that he will move back to Australia where he will return to V8 Supercars in 2015. Hornish will drive the number 9 Ford for RPM. This year, Sam has driven part-time for Joe Gibbs Racing in the Nationwide Series, showing the number 54 ride with Kyle Busch. In other news, Fox Sports TV personality Steve Burns is suffering from a recurrence of cancer. Burns will take an indefinite medical leave of absence to focus on his health. Steve was treated for a head and neck cancer late last year. NASCAR 5 would like to wish Steve Burns all the best in his battle with cancer. It's time now for an update on the Nationwide Series. Kyle Busch won the Kansas Lottery 300, his second consecutive victory and sixth win of the season. Kevin Harvick and Ryan Blaney finished second and third. Chase Elliott has stretched out his lead in the standings to 38 points over Regan Smith. Ty Dillon is third, 40 points back. Tonight, it's the drive for the Cure 300 from Charlotte. The race will begin at around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time and will air on ESPN2, TSN2, the Performance Racing Network, and SiriusXM. Qualifying will take place at 4 p.m. today and is not scheduled to be broadcast on either TV or radio. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races!